There we go. Yay, warriors. We are live from the quarantine. And uh, super excited to do this Saturday Tabata with you. I love these Tabatas. So, so, so happy. So if you have a pair of dumbbells, that would be uh, fantastic. Um, or even, even a book will work. Um, just something that you can create resistance with would be, would be awesome. Um, story of the day. Okay, so yesterday, I don't know if you noticed, but I had on this t-shirt and it said, we are warriors. And um, on Fridays, um, on Facebook, we have a, a Training for Warriors affiliates page. So it's all the people that own Training for Warriors all over the world are on this one secret group, very similar to our Training for Warriors Portland secret group. And the, the, the format is, is very similar. We have news on there. We have um, our, you know, our, our Training for Warriors news. We have coaches and owners talking about their struggles and their triumphs and their students triumphs and uh, one of the things one of the traditions that we have on Fridays is called Familia Friday and um, when we go to these different training for warriors events like the summit which is once a year um, all of the all of the different training for warriors trade t-shirts and so it's like you have training for warriors um, Rhode Island or training for warriors Huntington Beach and on Familia Friday, you're supposed to wear somebody else's T-shirt and then represent them and then post your picture under this, under this post on the, on the affiliates page. So yesterday I had on We Are Warriors, and I got that last year at the last year's summit. And uh, Amanda, Amanda Love Rooney and Martin Rooney had made those T-shirts for us for the summit. And um, yesterday was a really, really hard day because, you know, we, we were like uh, all week long, um, Josh and I, our, our adrenaline and our moment, momentum was built up so much to start back at the dojo with, with you guys on Monday. And then on Thursday night, we found out that the, that the uh, phase one was paused for our county. And it was just like, Wah! you know, as far as this uh, constant emotional roller coaster that we've been on throughout this pandemic. And, um, and I posted that that T-shirt um, on the familiar on the on the on the Training for Warriors page, and I wrote, you know, w w about the Phase One being paused, and and it's okay because we are warriors, and this is this is this is the being a warrior is what helps us get through this kind of stuff. And I and I don't take that that term lightly, you know, that we're that we're warriors. Um, I really think about that term and that that um, that noun, especially when I'm going through some hard times. Um, this this whole pandemic has been, like I said, um, a roller coaster ebb and flow of all these crazy crazy emotions. But it's it's why I'm here. It's why I'm affiliated with Training for Warriors is because. I want to be able to get over the things that I feel sometimes are going to try to defeat me, like, you know bad health habits or you know not sleeping good it's like okay remember you're a warrior you gotta you gotta sleep better or even if i have setbacks it's like i'm a warrior i can deal with this and that's what that t-shirt and that slogan really helped me with yesterday is is remembering okay i'm here i'm a warrior we can get through this and this is what has been preparing us for all these different moments and um and all these different moments that are completely out of our control, you know. So um, the, that, those few words just give me strength when I'm when I'm really really struggling. Anyway, I hope you find hope you find strength in, in why you're here, why you're with Training for Warriors, and um, and and you know what you know what your why is, you know, because that's that's super important. It's not just to get tone, you know. It's it's to create these healthy lifestyle and habits that we can continue throughout the rest of our lives, you know. So anyway, we're going to get on with that healthy lifestyle and habits when we do our Tabatas right now. All right, so we're going to get into it. All right, guys. Let's start standing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do small shoulder circles, small, just right out from our, from this kind of T position, squeezing those glutes. We're always keeping those glutes on. And then as, as you go forward, I want you to get bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, now go into this as big of a range of motion. And we're going slow with this. We're getting these shoulders nice and warmed up. Big range of motion. All right, now we're going to start small again, and we're going to go the opposite direction. Guys, it's so funny when I'm, when I'm editing these videos after the Zoom class, before I put it on YouTube, and I 
the, the, um, the Alexa hears me say in the video, Alexa, blah, 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 turn on. And she turns on from, from my recording. It's really spooky. It's really creepy. All right, we're getting bigger. We're getting bigger. Ah, wow. Woo, my shoulders are tight this morning. Holy poop. Wow. All right. Now we're going to go in this horizontal plane. Letting those arms swing. Getting that really nice stretch in your chest and in that thoracic spine. All right, now let's go into our vertical plane. Getting that nice swing, trying to get those arms next to that ear, facing the palm forward, facing the palm up. Ha. Yes. All right. Now let's try to, if you need to hold on to a surface to keep your Keep yourself stable, but I want to do these nice ankle circles. So we're going to go 10 in one direction. 9, 10. Now we're going to switch it out 10 the other way. All right. We're going to go 10, one direction with the other leg. 9, 10. Taking it back the other way. All right, then we're gonna go knee to chest. I want you to really pull that knee up to your chest. As you're bringing your pelvis forward at the top, we're just walking in place with this. Ah. Really feeling that nice stretch. All right, and now we're gonna do our quad stretch. So opposite arm, opposite leg. I want you to really feel this stretch in those obliques of that raised arm. Switch it out to the other side. Keep that knee underneath that hip as we're doing this. Switching it out. Whoo. Ah. So feeling really good right now. It's nice little active stretches. One more on each side. All right. Now, if you have a couch or a chair or a coffee table, I want you to go over to that. And then what I want you to do is take your Right ankle, put it over your left knee, and I want you to dip down. So I want you to get this nice stretch in your triceps and in the outside of that raised leg. Hold it here, breathe. All right, now I wanna switch it out to my other side, coming down deep into it. My, my body is close to the surface that I'm lifting myself from. I'm not extended out from it. I should feel the stretch in my shoulders and the outside of that thigh. Nice. All right. Now I'm going to come down to the floor and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my butt back onto my heels as I bring my hands forward and I'm pushing my butt back as I put my arm through, trying to get that shoulder to be down on the ground. And then I'm gonna rotate out. Coming back down. Rest for a moment down here because I want you to get that shoulder as close to the ground as possible. Rotate out. Follow that elbow with the eye as you rotate. Three. Four. And five. Okay, taking it out to the other side. Reaching down low. Get that stretch at the bottom and rotate. Oh. 
rotating. Two more. <sighs> nice. All right, guys, so while we're down here, we're gonna go ahead and go into our Cossack stretch. So I'm just gonna bring that leg out to the side and I'm gonna rock it forward. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna rock it forward and come back. I'm gonna do that 10 times. Four, five, getting that nice little wrist stretch. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now leg lift, one, two, three, four, five. Switch it out to the other side. Rocking back, rocking forward. Three, four, ah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's leg lift it. Boom. Two, keeping that hip down, feeling that activate in the glute. All right. Come up into this kneeling position, this high kneeling position. We're gonna have our thumbs turned up to the ceiling. And then I'm just gonna go into these very, very gentle neck circles. Woo! We're gonna go five in one direction. Trying to draw a circle in the ceiling with the top of our head. Four. Five, nice job. Take it the other way. Four and five. Let's stand it up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna widen out those legs and we're gonna touch opposite hand to opposite foot. So bending over, coming back up, opposite hand to opposite foot. We're gonna do five on each side. And five, nice job. All right, so as I mentioned in the beginning, we're gonna be doing a Tabata workout. But as far as our warm up is concerned, I wanna do all the exercises in the Tabata so I make sure that I have all the equipment and all my setup as I need it, all right? So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with squats. Now, if you wanna grab uh, dumbbells, or if you have a kettlebell, you can choose to do a body weight squat, or you can choose to do a goblet squat. It's up to you. But to start, what I wanna do is I want to make room for my hips, point those toes out. I'm coming down to a parallel, if not a little bit lower, coming back up. Really squeeze those glutes at the top, guys. And what I want you to do is I want you to not lean forward. That's gonna limit your motion down. So what I want you to do is try to stay as upright as possible, getting that hip and knee to be in line, if not a little bit lower than that. Go ahead and give me 10 as far as the warm up is concerned. Eight, nine, and 10. All right. Next, what we're gonna do is single leg inchworms. So for my single leg inchworm, I'm gonna bring one leg up. I'm gonna bend down to the floor. I'm gonna walk out into this high plank. I'm gonna walk back in and I'm gonna stand up. So what I wanna do is try to do five on the one leg without bringing it down. Make sure to get into that high plank where your butt is at the same level as your shoulders. Take your time. Three. Four. Whoops. After you've done five on the one side, you're gonna switch out your leg. You're gonna go five on the other. 
coming down keeping that knee low to the ground as you push yourself back up or walk yourself back two whoops I watched a modification of this the other day where the guy did a single leg inchworm, came into the high plank, did his push up here, came back here, brought his leg forward, and then went into a pistol squat, got back up, never putting that leg down. So if you wanna really push yourself, make it more advanced, good luck with that. It was pretty, pretty intense. So next guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, split squats. Well, we're going to do a little variation on the split squat. So maybe don't grab the weight to begin with. Wait until we're in the debata. I just want you to get this, this, uh, get familiar with this new um, way that we're going to do the split squat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this leg locked out to start. I'm always up on that toe in the back. That heel never comes down. I'm going to come into my split squat where I'm about an inch off the ground with that knee. This knee comes a little forward. I'm gonna come up partial, all right? So I'm only gonna come up about 80%. So I'm keeping that constant tension in that front leg. Go ahead and give me 10, and then we're gonna switch it out. So how I normally tell you guys to do is it's a lock out at the top. I don't want you to lock out. I want you to keep that tension in that leg by not fully extending. Eight, nine, 10, woo, yeah, really feeling that strength, that activation with this. Switching out to the other leg, boom. Partial, two, three, four, five, ah, six, seven, eight. Also, don't let that leg go too long in the back. This isn't about mobility with this one, so I don't want to be, I don't want to be out here. I want to be in closer with that knee to that heel to get all the strength optimization out of this as I can. Then we're going to go into our dumbbell press with glute bridge. So I'm going to grab my dumbbells or my kettlebell or my book or my cat, whatever you have, coming down to the ground. Now my hands are at about a 45 degree angle. My feet are in close to my butt. I'm gonna come up into my glute bridge. I'm gonna press, really squeezing those shoulder blades at the back. I'm gonna to touch my triceps to the ground, and then I'm gonna come back up. So I'm in this constantly raised glute position, and I'm making sure that I'm keeping that tension in my, in my glutes as I press up full extension at the top, but staying in those shoulder blades, all right? Don't extend out, keep those shoulder blades really engaged at the back as you come down and back up. So for this, my arms are in tight or at a 45, my elbows are not out, okay? Then the next thing that I have is kneeling curls. So I'm gonna grab a pad for this or a blanket or a pillow. I'm gonna come into this high kneeling position, squeezing those glutes, all right? I'm gonna make sure I don't swing with this, but I'm getting that full extension with those curls. So go ahead and give me 10 right now. Seven, eight, nine, 10, nice. All right, then I'm gonna go into my plank rows. So if you have dumbbells, great. If you don't have dumbbells, we can do a shoulder tap. So I'll show you both. My feet are gonna be wide. My butt is about the same height as my shoulders. Bringing that dumbbell up to my hip, switching it out. All right, so that's my plank row. Now, if I don't have dumbbells, I'm gonna do opposite hand opposite shoulder, shoulder taps, all right? Now with this, I wanna push a little bit forward. I don't wanna push back, I don't wanna come into an A-frame. I'm gonna be slightly over those wrists, 
as I tap it out. So whichever way you're gonna do it, go ahead and give me five on each side right now. Really squeezing that shoulder blade, trying not to move those hips. We wanna keep those hips really stable throughout. That's why we have our feet out a little bit wider than we would normally for a plank. And then we have, next, move this stuff out of the way. We have our sit-outs, sit-outs. So if sit-outs cause you any pain, I want you to do a dead bug, all right? If the sit-outs don't cause you pain, but you just have a hard time doing it, let's use this as practice time to really get into it because you can go slow with this, all right? So my hands, I'm in this quadruped position. My shoulders are over my hands. My knees are slightly raised. I'm gonna kick this leg out to this wall. My, my chest faces that wall. This back foot goes flat. This elbow comes to knee. I come back in. I kick it out, all right? This is a wrestling move. So you're gonna pretend like there's somebody on your back that you're trying to kick off, all right? Now, if you have any pain in your shoulders, when you're doing that, you can go into your dead bugs. I want you to maintain constant tension as you go opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg, all right? So keep that leg locked out, get full extension with that arm behind you, get that other foot to the ground, all right? So give me five on each side of whichever one you're doing, if it's the sit out or if it's the dead bug. And then we're gonna go into our penguins. Yay! So I'm gonna get those feet in close to my butt, rise up on those shoulder blades, and I'm gonna go side to side, reaching as far down those feet as I can, all right? So really feel this part of your oblique stretch and contract as you move back and forth, all right? So that's where I want you to put your attention is in on the sides of your abs in those obliques because I want you to get that full range of motion with that contraction and that extension, all right? Then, conveniently, we're already on the ground. We're gonna go into our X crutch. So, arms and legs are extended in this X position. X position, ha ha ha. Now I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna touch my toes. I'm not gonna throw myself forward. I really wanna think about those abs pulling me forward, all right? Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. Woo. All right. Next, we're gonna come into a kneeling position and we're gonna do our overhead dumbbell press. So my hands are gonna be facing out, squeezing those glutes again, keeping that pillar really strong. So my, my rib cage is slightly tucked as I'm bringing my pelvis forward, coming up and back down. Bring those elbows in at the bottom, guys. Don't have those elbows out. Coming all the way up and down. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Six. Eight, nine, and 10. Nice. That is all the exercises in our Tabata. All right. So now we're familiar with it. We have all of our things for our different setups. We're gonna grab a little bit of water or a lot of water, whatever you want. And then we're gonna go into our first set of Tabatas, which is gonna be our squats and our single leg inchworms. 20 seconds of squats, rest 10 seconds, 20 seconds of single leg inchworms. So when we're doing those single leg inchworms, I want you to pay attention to what leg you have up first, because the next time we go into that part of the circuit, you're gonna bring your other leg up, all right? So we're only doing one leg for 20 seconds. Go back into the squats, come back, do the other leg, all right? So, 
Guys, we're going to get started here with our squats. So if you have dumbbells and you want to use those or a kettlebell, grab those. And we're starting in three, two, one, go. Really squeeze those glutes at the top, locking out those hips, keeping that upper back as straight as you possibly can. Two, one. Transitioning, we got about seven seconds left. Then I'm gonna go into my single leg inchworm and we're going now, coming down, walking it out, getting that full plank. Come back in, stand it up. Control it, guys. Be really controlled with this. Speed is not the point. It's control and strength. We might only be able to get a few in 20 seconds. All right. So I had my right leg up that time. And remember to have my left leg up next time. Getting ready for my squats. Here we go. <sighs> Trying to get as deep as you can. If you have two dumbbells, you might want to grab two of them if you want to make this a little bit harder. We've got three seconds left. All right. Switching out, making sure my other leg is up this time for those inchworms. We're going in two, one. Here we go. Staying low. Start off low. Come into that plank. Walk back low. Really feeling this in that quad of that standing leg. Whoo! All right. Going back into my squats. And we're going. Exhale at the top. Exhale, squeeze those glutes forward, lock out those legs, and going back to my original leg that I started with. For those inchworms, three, two, one, here we go. High plank, coming back up. Lock out that leg when you stand up. All right, switching it out. Back to my glutes. I'm sorry, my squats. <laughs> we, this is gonna be our last set for each. So last set, best set. One, all right. Making sure to get that other leg, giving that other leg some love for these walkouts, these inchworms. Here we go. All right, three seconds left. And done. Awesome. All right, guys. We're going to get a little bit of rest. I'm going to grab some water, and then I'm going to demo our next two exercises while you rest. So this time, we have our, those partial split squats. So I'm up on that toe in the back. Again, you're resting while I'm demoing. I'm coming down, bringing that knee to about an inch off the ground. And then I'm only coming up about 80%. I'm not locking out fully at the top, keeping that constant tension in this for 20 seconds. Remembering what leg I have out front first, because the next time we do that exercise, you wanna switch it out to the other leg. And this is where I have my dumbbell press with glute bridge. So I'm gonna have my dumbbells ready. I'm gonna bring those hips up squeezing those glutes 
Getting those arms in that position, squeezing those shoulder blades together, keeping those shoulder blades together the entire time as I press up, touching the ground with my triceps and then pressing back up again. All right, so for those split squats, if you want weight, you can either do the goblet again or you could have two weights at your side, however you wanna do it, or you can just do without weights. This is a grinder, all right? So when we're doing any of these exercises, as I always say with these Tabatas, if you're feeling super gassed while we're actually in the circuit, skip a set to get that recovery, okay? I want you to make sure that your form is perfect, but if you're super gassed and you're not concentrating, don't do bad, don't do bad versions of any of this stuff, okay? All right, so we're starting with those split squats. And we're starting in three, two, one, hit it. So I'm gonna see what one dumbbell feels like. Oops, I locked it out at the top. Oh, yep, there we go. Just coming up partial. It's hard to remember. Ah, keeping that constant tension too. One, coming down to the ground, going into my press with glute bridge. Three, two, one, here we go. My dumbbells are at about a 45 degree angle. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Here we go. Woo, yeah. Now this time, making sure to get that other leg behind you. All right, and here we go. Partial. Keeping constant tension. Coming into short season, getting those really nice quads built up. Woo! Two, one, yes. That is a burner for me, guys. I don't know about for you. Woo! Coming back into my press. Hips up, and I'm going for it. Keeping those shoulder blades really locked out at the back. It feels weird because you have the weight of your body on those shoulder blades. Just don't extend those arms out. Keeping those shoulder blades in tight, feeling this in your lats. Yeah. Woo, all right. Switching it out this time to my original side. Woo. Ah. Eight seconds. Two, one. Wow. Here we go, here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those shoulder blades. All right. Switching it out. Whew. Here we go. Okay, this is our last set on each. Oops, I came up too high. Last set on each leg. I think I might have gotten confused and maybe done the wrong leg on that one. <laughs> it happens. One. All right. Ha, ha, ha. Here we go, guys. Last set. Best set. And we're going for it. Got some rest time. Grabbing some water. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm gonna grab my pad for my knees. This is when we're in that high kneeling position and we're gonna be doing just curls, all right? Full extension with those arms, squeezing those glutes. And then I go into my plank rows with feet wide, really squeezing that shoulder blade, keeping those hips stable. So don't rock those hips, don't rotate that body. Keep those hips level. Same thing if you're doing shoulder taps. Tapping, keeping those legs, keeping that torso really stable. Should really feel your glutes activate with this one, guys. Sorry, I got a hair. Eh, eh. All right. So, a few more seconds of rest, and then we're going to get into it. With my kneeling curls. All right, guys. Three seconds, two, one, hit it. Now, if you're having any sort of elbow issues, you can always do a hammer curl. So your hands are in this neutral position, all right? Otherwise, I'm just gonna do our normal curls. All right, switching it out to those planks, those plank rows. Three, two, one, go. Keeping those hips stable, boom. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Five seconds left. Woo. All right, transitioning back into my kneeling. Curl, here we go. Love these Tabatas. If we program them correctly, you're getting a total body workout with some of the most important strength building exercises. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Don't neglect those glutes. All right. Three, two, one, plank row. You got this. And switching it back to our kneeling curls. All right. Woo! And we're going for it. Taking it slow. Fast on the up, slow on the down. Fast on the up, controlled and slow on the down. Keeping those elbows in. Three, two, and going into our planks. All right. Three, two, one, hit it. Ah. Hips, super stable. Feel this in those abs. Ah. 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 All right. This is our last set of each of these exercises. Last set. Best set, yeah it is. Only good reps. Don't swing these. Keep those glutes really activated. Ah, all right. Going back into those Plank rows or shoulder taps, whichever one you're doing. Keeping it strong. Ah. 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 
Nice. Ha ha ha. All right. Let's go ahead. Grab some water. I'm gonna move my equipment out of the way for this. These next two exercises. So, this is when I'm gonna do my sit-outs. My sit-outs. So, hands. Knees are close to the floor, all right? I'm not coming up. I'm not bringing my butt up. I'm not pushing my shoulders back. Keeping those hands over those wrists. Those knees are down. I kick out. This back foot stays flat on the ground. I kick out. My butt does not touch the ground. This back foot does. My butt's hovering over the, over the uh, ground. And what I'm not doing is I'm not pushing out with this. I'm not putting strain on that shoulder. I'm keeping that butt really close to that hand. Coming back in, kicking it out. Coming back in, always resetting with those knees and close to those hands so that you don't push out on those shoulders. Now, if you're doing dead bugs instead, you always start with all four in the middle and then you switch it out. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Keeping that tension in that raised leg. Really pull that other leg and that other arm to that opposite wall, all right? Then we're gonna do our penguins. Penguins, up on those shoulder blades as I rotate side to side. Think about those obliques. Think about really crunching and really extending on those, all right? So, we're going into it. Starting with our sit outs or our dead bugs. In three, two, one, go. Now, if you have these sit outs down, I want you to go fast with it, all right? I want you to do a quick interchange in the middle. If you're still working on form, I want you to take it slow and controlled and I want you to hit every single position. I want you to get that muscle memory with this. Sit outs are really complex. It takes a long time to get used to how to do them. And it's okay, I'd rather you do them slow. We're going into our penguins. I'd rather you do those sit outs slow and nail each one of those positions than do it fast and sloppy. Really feel those obliques. Woo! All right, coming back into it. You're either doing your dead bugs, you're doing your sit outs. Two, one, boom. Back foot goes flat. See how tight I am? My butt is so tight to that hand, I'm not extending out from it. My whole body is staying in close to itself. Three seconds. All right, penguins. Okay, three seconds, you got this, you got this. Extending down those feet, reaching as far down as possible to get as much of a crunch, and as much of an extension in those obliques. And you do this right, it's gonna be a burner. Ah. All right, switching back out to my sit outs. Sit outs. Pretend like Coach Josh is on your back and you're trying to get him off. Oh, get off my back, Coach Josh. Ah! Ah! Ha! And switching it back out to penguins. Yay! What a nice little break from those sit outs. Ah, 10 seconds left. All right. And 
Switching it out to our last set of each. Last set. Best set. Make them perfect. Boom. Get after it. If you're doing dead bugs, make sure you're keeping tension in those legs and in those arms. All right. Ah. Switch it out to my penguins. And going for it. Woo! Yeah, really reaching down, reaching down. Woo! Uh, all right. Guys, we're going to take a little bit of rest, then we're going into our last two exercises. All right. Next. Grab that in a second. I'm demoing while you're resting. X crunch, X position, arms and legs out, coming up, touching those toes. Feeling those abs really pull you forward, all right? Trying not to throw yourself forward. Feeling those abs pull you forward. Ah, all right. Try to always end on the down so you're ending on the complete motion with that. Then I'm going to have my pad for my kneeling overhead press. So I'm here. My hands are facing towards you. Hands are facing out. Squeezing those glutes, coming up overhead, bringing those elbows in tight to the body. Really full extension with this. Glutes on the whole time. All right. Guys, we're going to go right into it with those X crunches. All right. We've got three, two, one. Hit it. Ah. I like these because I get that nice little stretch at the top as I'm reaching those, those arms forward. If you can touch your toes, great. If you can't touch your toes, that's a goal. Finishing on the down, coming over, getting set up for my overhead press. And going for it. Whew. Ah. Ah. Get it, get it, get it. And going back into my X crunch, X force. Three, two, one. Yeah. I like the ab parts of the Tabata. Nice little switch up from all the intense strength exercises. Ha! Ah. All right. Kneeling overhead press. Love these kneeling exercises that we've been doing. It's really hard to cheat the pillar of that body when you're in these kneeling positions. It's really easy to remember keeping those glutes on. Ah, three seconds. Ah, all right, going back into my X crunch. Here we go, boom. All right, there we go. Kneeling overhead press. Boom, getting after it. Yeah. Ah. Getting those arms, those biceps next to those ears. 
<sighs> someday, guys, someday. We're gonna have barbells. We're gonna be doing this with barbells. It's gonna be epic. All right, here we go, here we go. Reaching. Ah. Contract those abs to get you forward. Ah. Okay. This is our last set. Whew. Best set. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, uh. Three, two, one. That was it. Guys, we're not going to take much rest. We're going to go right into our homework. This time, just because of all the other exercises that we've just done, I want to start with my deep squat with hamstring bias. So, widening out those feet just a little bit. I'm going to come down. I'm going to come down into a deep, deep squat. I'm going to hold on to my toes. And then I'm going to rotate out. I'm going to rotate out. And then I'm going to lengthen those legs, bringing that chin to chest. Lock out those legs. Come back down. Rotate out. Rotate. Chin to chest. Yeah. Here we go. <sighs> Okay. I think we have one more. Ah. And roll it up slowly. Okay. Next, let's go ahead into our knee grabs. 10 knee grabs. Arms in close to the chest, legs out straight. Throwing those arms forward, my feet come flat at the top. Don't let those legs, ex don't let those feet extend up. You want to make sure you come into that full motion. Ten of these. When you are on the down, that's one total one. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and 10. Woo! All right, now all we have left is our push ups with T spine rotation. I'm going to use an elevated surface. I'm going to widen out those feet. I'm going to come down to my surface. I'm going to rotate away. Coming down to that surface, rotating away. Five on each side. This is two. This is three. Four. Five. Yeah. You guys, we did it. We did all the things. Woo. That was a burner. All right. So, guys. Circling back to the story of the day, talking about how we define ourselves as warriors. Why are we here? Why, why, are we, why do we want to be the best version that we can be? And just figuring that out for yourself. What's super important to you with that, you know? I feel like when we're, when we're in here and we're doing like um, our testing for the month, say we're doing our deadlift testing, so many times we have to give ourselves permission to be strong, to feel strong. And I feel that same way as far as using that word warrior is concerned. We give ourselves permission to be a warrior, to try to be the best version that we can be. Also understanding that we're going to have setbacks. But that's when we really invoke that word warrior and we remind ourselves that that's what we have the ability to be. And we are all the time. All right. So we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Yay. I'm using 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, you're, you're the person doing all the stuff because I'm going to be coaching oh. you doing it. <laughs> Communication. We still got it. We oh. still got it. We, we never fail. <laughs>